Get ready for a jaw-dropping video that delves into the most shocking tragedies in reality TV history. From unexpected deaths to heart-wrenching accidents, this video will leave you on the edge of your seat. Join me as we explore the darker side of reality TV and uncover the stories that shook viewers to their core. Prepare yourself for an emotional roller coaster as we delve into these tragic events. Don't miss out on this eye-opening video that will make you question the price of fame in the world of reality television. Tragedy struck the world of reality TV in what has been described as the deadliest accident ever. Among the victims were Camille Muffat, a talented young swimmer who had won three medals at the 2012 Olympic Games, Florence Arthau, a trailblazing yachtswoman, and Alexis Vastine, a skilled boxer. And here's the story. Back in March 2015, a tragic incident occurred during the filming of a reality TV program called Dropped. The show's unique premise involved dropping celebrities into challenging environments and watching them navigate their way through. Unfortunately, this adventure turned into a devastating accident when two helicopters collided over Argentina. The collision resulted in the loss of two pilots, five crew members, and three well-known French athletes who were set to star in the program. Following this tragedy, the producers made the decision to cancel the show altogether. The incident served as a stark reminder of the risks involved in such extreme productions. If you're a fan of high-speed thrills and adrenaline-pumping action, then you've probably heard of the hit TV show Street Outlaws Fastest in America. This show takes street racing to a whole new level as the fastest racers from all over the country go head-to-head -head in an epic battle for supremacy. Street Outlaws Fastest in America is not your typical racing show. It showcases some of the most powerful and souped-up cars on the planet, with drivers who live for the thrill of pushing their machines to the limit. These fearless racers compete on both asphalt and concrete tracks, taking risks that most people wouldn't even dream of. Each episode brings intense rivalries, jaw-dropping speeds, and heart-stopping moments as these street outlaws race against each other to claim the title of fastest in America. But unfortunately, tragedy struck for an unfortunate racer. Uh, tragic news struck the street racing community when Ryan Fellows, a prominent figure and cast member of the reality television series Street Outlaws Fastest in America, lost his life in a devastating car crash. The incident occurred during filming in Las Vegas on August 7, 2023. According to reports, Fellows Nissan lost control near the finish line and ultimately rolled over, igniting into flames. Despite the efforts of onlookers who witnessed the harrowing event, they were unable to rescue him from the burning vehicle in time. Let's take a moment to remember Eric Hill, a contestant on the reality TV show The Bachelorette back in 2014. Unfortunately, his journey was cut short due to a tragic paragliding accident in Utah on April 20th, 2014. While enjoying the thrill of paragliding, Eric encountered a terrifying incident where part of his parachute collapsed and he came crashing down to the ground. He was immediately rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Despite the efforts of a rescue team and being transported by helicopter, he sadly succumbed to his injuries on April 23, 2014, at just 31 years old. All right, let's dive into the wild world of the Buckwild reality show. Buckwild became a cultural phenomenon when it hit our TV screens, captivating audiences with its outrageous and unpredictable antics. This show took us on a wild ride through the lives of a group of young adults living life to the fullest in rural West Virginia. From off-roading adventures to late-night shenanigans, Buck Wild gave us a taste of the untamed and unfiltered lifestyle these individuals embraced. With their distinctive accents and larger-than-life personalities, they quickly became household names. But tragedy was about to strike. On March 31, 2013, a night out turned into a mysterious disappearance for Shane Gandy, the star of the show, his uncle David Gandy, and their friend. The trio was last seen leaving Larry's Bar in Sissonville around 3 a.m. on Sunday morning. Their plan? To go mudding and have some off-road fun. However, as the day progressed, 
Worry began to set in as the friends failed to return or make contact with anyone. Concerned friends reported them missing later that day, triggering an immediate search effort. Fast forward to Monday morning on April 1st, 2013, approximately 31 hours after their disappearance, a person riding a four-wheeler made a heartbreaking discovery. The three men, Shane Gandy, David Gandy, and Donald Robert Myers, were found unresponsive on a remote road in the Sissonville area of West Virginia. What happened, you ask? Well, picture this. Three men trapped inside a Ford Bronco that stuck in a mud hole so deep that it reached past the windows. Little did they know this unfortunate situation would turn deadly. Sounds like a scene straight out of an action movie, right? Well, unfortunately, this was a real life situation that took a tragic turn. You see, the truck's tailpipe was completely covered in mud, which led to a deadly outcome. Instead of the exhaust escaping through the tailpipe as it should have, carbon monoxide gas filled the interior of the vehicle. This silent killer claimed the lives of all three men. Let's dive into the thrilling world of the Deadliest Catch reality show. If you're a fan of high stakes adventure, this show is sure to hook you in. Deadliest Catch takes us on a wild ride as we join brave fishermen battling treacherous conditions in the unforgiving waters of the Bering Sea. With Deadliest Catch as our guide, we witness the real life drama and danger that comes with crab fishing. From intense storms to icy waters, these fearless crews risk it all to haul in their valuable catch. It's a captivating blend of adrenaline pumping action and compelling human stories that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. But sadly, they were about to lose one of their best. Ah, Phil Harris of Deadliest Catch. He was quite the character on the show, wasn't he? Known for his tough demeanor and strong work ethic, Phil Harris quickly became a fan favorite among viewers. As the captain of the fishing vessel Cornelia Marie, Phil faced many challenges while braving the treacherous waters of the Bering Sea. His leadership skills and determination were truly admirable. Harris suffered a stroke during the sixth televised Opilio crab season of deadliest catch. He was offloading crab on January 29, 2010 at St. Paul Island, Alaska. He was flown to Anchorage for surgery and was placed in an induced coma to reduce intracranial pressure and swelling. Harris died from an intracranial hemorrhage on February 9, 2010 at the age of 53. Howdy partners, get ready for the most epic showdown in the Wild West, the ultimate cowboy showdown. This action-packed reality show brings together the toughest cowboys from all corners of the frontier to compete in a series of thrilling challenges. The ultimate cowboy showdown is not your ordinary rodeo. It's a test of skill, strength, and true grit. Cowboys showcase their expert horsemanship, lightning fast roping skills, and sharpshooting accuracy. From barrel racing to insane bull riding competitions, every event will have you on the edge of your saddle. The show is hosted by Trace Adkins, but tragedy would befall one of their riders. Season two of the Ultimate Cowboy Showdown brought us the introduction of Jackson Taylor, a true cowboy legend. This fifth generation cowboy showcased his skills and determination as he conquered seven tough challenges on the show before heading back to Texas. Jackson's return to the show for its all-star season was filled with hope and ambition to claim the ultimate prize. His presence and talent made him a fan favorite, leaving viewers eagerly rooting for his success. However, tragically, several months later, Jackson's life was cut short due to an injury sustained during a bronc ride at the Estancia Valley Ranch Rodeo in Moriarty, New Mexico. Let's dive into the thrilling world of the Swamp People TV show. If you're a fan of all things swampy and adventurous, then this show is right up your alley. Swamp People takes us deep into the heart of Louisiana's swamplands, where a group of brave and skilled hunters embark on daring journeys to catch some of the most elusive creatures that call these murky waters home. From alligators to snakes, these fearless individuals risk it all for their livelihoods and the thrill of the hunt. Back in 2012, tragedy struck the Swamp People community when one of its stars, Mitchell Gist, died while loading up his boat on the Bell River in Louisiana. 
Initially, it was believed that he had suffered a seizure. However, further investigation revealed that he had actually suffered a heart attack. He was gone at the age of 47. In remembrance of Mitchell Geist and his contributions to the show, the History Channel dedicated an episode in 2012 to honor his memory. All right, let's talk about the reality TV show Girls Incarcerated. This show takes us behind the bars and into the lives of young girls who are facing time in juvenile detention centers. It sheds light on their struggles, triumphs, and the challenges they face while trying to turn their lives around. Girls Incarcerated gives viewers a raw and unfiltered look into the realities of life inside these facilities. From personal stories to emotional moments, this show aims to humanize these young girls and bring attention to the issues within the juvenile justice system. But unfortunately, one such girl would be taken from us far too soon. Aubrey Wilson's journey after completing the substance abuse program on the reality show took an unexpected turn. Despite her nine-month imprisonment and successful completion of the program, she fled shortly after her release. Her troubled connection with her mother, who also battled drug addiction, compelled her to confront those issues outside the confines of the center. Aubrey remained active on social media, sharing numerous selfies and glimpses into her life. However, behind the scenes, she continued to grapple with her ongoing struggle with drug addiction. Tragically, Aubrey's battle came to an end on September 30th, 2022. Hey there, let's dive into the fascinating world of the ocean's deadliest and talk about none other than the legendary Steve Irwin. Known for his incredible passion for wildlife and conservation, Steve Irwin became a household name as he fearlessly explored the depths of the ocean, encountering some of its most dangerous creatures. Steve Irwin dedicated his life to educating people about the wonders of marine life and raising awareness about the importance of preserving our oceans. From his iconic khaki outfit to his infectious enthusiasm, he captured hearts around the world with his unique approach to wildlife conservation. Whether it was swimming alongside massive sharks or getting up close and personal with venomous sea creatures, Steve Irwin fearlessly showcased these majestic animals while emphasizing their vital role in maintaining our planet's delicate ecosystem. Sadly, Steve Irwin's life would be cut short. On a tragic day in September 2006, the world lost an incredible wildlife enthusiast. Irwin, known for his daring adventures and love for animals, met an unfortunate end while filming in the Great Barrier Reef. He was at Bat Reef near Port Douglas, Queensland, working on the documentary series Ocean's Deadliest. During one of their encounters with marine life, tragedy struck. Irwin was pierced in the chest by a short tail stingray barb. The stinger managed to penetrate his thoracic wall, causing massive trauma. It was a devastating incident that shocked people around the globe. And the world lost an incredible individual at the age of 44. Gabriel Benmir, a 30-year-old music coordinator uh, for MTV, tragically lost his life in the early morning hours of October 26, 2021. He had worked on popular reality shows like Punked and had made significant contributions to the network. The circumstances surrounding Gabriel's death are deeply saddening. He died after a shotgun blast to the head in the early morning hours while parking his car outside of his apartment. Two men were arrested in connection with his tragic death. It is a heartbreaking loss for his family, friends, and colleagues.